Okay, so let's start with the operational amplifier circuit analysis. So to start with, we have the picture of an invert, uh, ideal op-amp. So an ideal op-amp has input voltages. So you have uh, V1 and V2 corresponding to your inverting input and the non-inverting input. You also have input currents I1 and I2, also your differential voltage VD, which is the difference between uh, V1 minus V2. Also, you have your output voltage. Next, we have the parameters in ideal op amps. So we have our input currents equated as zero. So this is because our Z input is equivalent to infinite ohms. So with this, our input current is going to be zero amperes. Then going back, we have our differential voltage equivalent to the difference or uh, the subtraction between V2 and V1 is equivalent to zero. And if you transpose that to the other side of the equation, that equates to V2 is equal to V1. Next is our inverting amplifier. So an inverting amplifier has its V input connected to the V minus or inverting input of your amplifier. You have feedback resistor and then input resistor as RF and R1 respectively. So what we're going to do here is to derive the formula for the voltage output. So first label your currents as I1 and then I2. This intersection here is our point X, so any letter, point X, and then make a KCL equation from that, KCL at point X. So with this, summation current entering is equal to summation current leaving, that is I1 is equivalent to I, the current here, plus I2. Note that I from our previous uh, rules is that this is equivalent to 0. So this is just equal to I1 is equal to I2. Now replace that with the Ohm's law equivalent that is VI minus V1 divided by R1 is equivalent to V1 minus V out over RF. Notice that V2 is equivalent to V1 and since V2 is also connected to ground or zero volts, V1 is also zero volts. So we can equate this to zero simplifying yeah, V out is equal to negative RF over R1 times V input once you cross multiply your values. So notice that the formula contains a negative sign in front, meaning the input signal, say if you have a sine wave, the output signal is inverted or has a 180 degrees phase shift. So that's the negative sign for. So let's have a sample problem. So if V input is 0.5, so let's label that 0.5 volts, find your output voltage and current through the 10 kilo ohm resistor. So this is your I. So since it looks like the same 
uh, inverting amplifier, you can use direct substitution. You have negative 25K since this is your RF and then R1 over 10K times 0 0.5 volts. So 25 over 10 is simply 2.5. Then times 0.5. So this is negative 1.25 volts. Negative meaning the output is uh, inverted in phase. Next, look for the value of I or current I across a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So I. Is equivalent to so that's 0 0.5 uh, minus your v1 or your v minus here, but since equivalent in siya with ground or zero, you can equate this with zero all over. Ten kilo ohms. So point five divided by ten kilo ohms is zero point zero five milliampere. So that's your answer for the value for I. For the non-inverting amplifier, so this is a non-inverting amplifier since your input voltage is connected to positive. So the output is not inverted. So if you have input sine wave, output is still a sine wave. So the computation is quite different since we're going to use a voltage divider for the voltage of V1. So V1 by voltage divider is R1 over R1 plus RF multiplied by the incoming voltage is your V out. Okay, and then V2 is directly connected to your V input. Since V1 and V2 can be equated, so you have V1 or rather VI is equal to R1 over R1 plus RF times your output voltage. So simply cross multiply to get your V out. So V out is equal to R1 plus RF over R1 times VI. Then dividing through with R1, you get 1 plus RF over R1 times your VI. So notice that this formula doesn't have a negative in front. So this is a non-inverting amplifier. That means the output is uh, in phase with your input. Then let's try that with a sample problem. So determine the output current IO. So this is a two-part solution. First, compute for V out and then to get I out, simply use Ohm's law. So for V out, RF and R1. So this is 1 plus 50K over 10K 
times your input voltage of 0.4. Okay, simplifying 50k over 10k is simply 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So it's like 6 times 0.4. So this is equivalent to 2.4 volts. Okay, so I out is simply 2.4 over 20k. A shortcut for this is that when you divide anything with kilo, the resultant is milliampere. So, 2.4 divided by 20k is simply equal to uh, 1.2 or 0 0.12 milliamperes. Yeah. So, this is our final answer. And that's it.